Today we are in Alexandria, Virginia, checking out a newly renovated home that also has some of the best curb appeal I've ever seen. So this home was built in 1963, and this was the actual developer of the neighborhood's home himself. So you can see this big grand entrance, and it's a massive property. There are eight bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, and over 5,000 finished square feet on three levels. This home is listed for rent at $10,000 per month. And with that being said, let's start the tour. And if you have any questions or would like to set up any showings for houses around the Northern Virginia, DC area, just reach out to me below. All right, here we go. So this house, the owner has spent a small fortune renovating, did new floors in the foyer here, get the new light fixture and Let's get this tour started. We've got our coat closet right here. And we got the little table right there. So off to our right, this is actually the formal dining room. So let me turn you around here. And as you can see, these floors are recently refinished. He's got all new Pella windows uh, throughout the house. And if you want to guess how much Pella windows cost, how much 35 Pella windows cost, it's a lot. Uh, but they last forever. So here is the kitchen. Actually, we have this little pocket door right here. And this is the kitchen. You got a ton of countertop space. So all the appliances were replaced. Cabinets were there previously, but they're still in pretty good condition. And there's also a space over here for kind of like another eating breakfast kind of area. But you can see new appliances, cabinets, The double sink and this is the backyard so sod was just put in we got the new railings around the stairs because they were old and wood and rotted and whatnot so on this side of the house you kind of have like an au pair suite so there's a lot of bedrooms in this house a lot of bathrooms so this is just one of the laundry areas of this house. Each level actually has its own laundry, which is pretty cool. Don't see that too often. So this is the au pair suite. So you have the separate entrance. Uh, we got new recessed lights that the owner installed, new flooring, of course, new windows. Got a good size closet uh, behind there underneath the stairs. So this would kind of be like the living room for the uh, au pair suite. And let me just show you. There's obviously plenty of parking right here. There's an additional uh, asphalt parking spot right there. Good sidewalk space. Fenced in. So let's check out the kitchen and bathroom on this suite right here you got the pocket door so this is the second of three kitchens we got the smaller refrigerator but still a good size this would this side of the house is almost like a one bedroom apartment it's got electric stove Dishwasher's newer, sink. And then we got the yard in the back with its new AC system. Grass looks really good. There, just about a week ago, there was no grass in, so when they installed the sod, it looks completely different now. It's amazing just what like some landscaping can do. So this would be kind of like the bedroom. It's a little small. Someone could use this as like a bedroom or an office space. So the, the, like I said, this is like the au pair suite. And you see they got the 
separate entrance. You got the window. So you could probably fit a bed in here. And then this bathroom, tell me what this bathroom is called. So you actually have a shower right there, but there's no separation really. So I know there's a word for it. I just don't see these types of bathroom setups too often. And then we got the closet right here. And we're gonna head to the other side of the house. So, like I said, this can be separated if somebody wants. Got all these new recessed lights. The floors look amazing. These are original hardwood floors, but uh, they were refinished. So there was a lot of little touches done to this house. And you got the new Pella sliding glass door. Let's actually check out the backyard before we uh, go into the living area. So all this was cleared out. There used to be a ton of bamboo and just overgrown trees. Uh, he put in a new fence. And we have a separate entrance down there. That's just one of the separate entrances. So there's where we just were. So you got a nice patio area out here. And we'll go around to the other side uh, once we go into the basement suite. A lot of space in the kitchen. And this would be the main living room, all new recessed lights, all new windows fireplace and then one of the best things about this house is this driveway so you got a massive driveway goes all the way around and you got some privacy with all those trees right there plus you can hang out on this patio So off to the right, there's also a half bathroom. Got the half bath, brand new. So we will head upstairs. There's actually two ways to get upstairs on the other side of the house and then right off to the entrance. So this is right where we came in from. All right, so if you have any questions about any properties in Northern Virginia, DC area, or want to set up any showings, uh, feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is below. And as always, I would love to assist you. All right, so we'll start with the primary. Good size space in here. The light fixture. Yeah, the floors look really good. You got the all new windows. I know I keep saying that, but everyone has something they love about houses and you get all new windows, like new doors. It's something you kind of appreciate being in real estate because you see so many that don't have new windows. So for the master bath, we got this sliding door right here. We got this cool tile and you got to have the double sink. Very modern look to this property. And then we got the master bath, the shower with this cool light fixture. So it's glass and maybe marble or porcelain or very modern, nicely done. And 
And then off the bathroom, we have got the closet space. Another closet and then this master connects to another bedroom the two windows light fixture actually this neighborhood see the neighbor has a pool over there this neighborhood has some very nice houses you don't see too many pools in Northern Virginia but in this part of Alexandria you actually see a lot of houses that have pools and just really nice landscaping and like sometimes more modern houses. It's kind of an underrated part of Alexandria. So that's where we came up from. You got the new light fixture. And here is another bedroom. windows here's, here's another view and that's 395 where those buildings are is right over there so it's a very convenient location for commuters or anybody that wants to be close to DC Arlington you're right next to Fairlington and Sherlington. So this is our second washer and dryer room. This one's nice. You got all the shelves and everything. And then we have here a little towel closet. And then we got the renovated bathroom. So this fan, well, you might have heard this fan on in the background, but I had to keep the lights on, so. Nice new vanity, the gold trim. And you got the tub. Turn you around. All right, so we're heading to the next wing of the house, if you want to call it that. And we have this pocket door right here. So if you wanted like a little more privacy, we have a few more bedrooms. If you're keeping track of how many bedrooms there are, I lose track in this house. You got so much space. massive pillars outside. This house definitely has great curb appeal. It's like a very grand kind of entrance. King of Alexandria lives here. So we have another door and this is like somebody, if they wanted to, they could just remove this and it'd just be a little more open if you wanted it to, because there is a lot of like separate spaces here, which is, which is good or, you know, just depends what you're looking for. So obviously there was another door here. This was to the au pair suite down there. So if you wanted to kind of keep it separate and private, well, actually you could use both of these doors. So the closet. And we got the fully renovated bathroom. This one's going with the black and white, which looks really nice. We got the tub right here. Nice cutout.
if I didn't say it in the beginning, I don't think anybody would know how many bedrooms and bathrooms are in this property. And actually the guy that owned this property previously, he was, I think he owns like a hotel in Florida, like a boutique hotel. So I think he's into these like boutique properties that you can rent out a lot of rooms and like make them nice. This bedroom. And then we got this other bedroom, the far side of the house. This one's nice, a lot of space in here. They're all pretty good sized bedrooms, except for maybe that office space, which is, you know, more of an office anyways, on the first floor. So almost forgot, but we also have a basement. So let's go check out the basement as well. And if you have any questions or want to set up any showings for houses in Northern Virginia, this one's actually just been uh, rented out. But for any other properties around Northern Virginia, DC, Maryland, uh, just feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is below. All right, so we have the basement door right off of the kitchen space. So this could be like another separate area. Rent this out if you wanted to. And as we walk in, we have all new uh, ceramic tile right here. New recess lights. And check out this kitchen. This basement kitchen is super nice. I mean, he must have spent a fortune on this basement kitchen. No appliances. Nice big sink right there. Got the electric stove top. And then what's nice about this property. All right, so this could be set up as like a pantry right now. It's more of just a closet. You have a lot of separate entrances. So if somebody wanted to rent it out, which is what he's doing, it'd be pretty easy to do so. And look how wide this space is right here. So in terms of like getting in furniture, let me just take you up real quick. So that's one of the bedroom windows, one of the egress windows right there. And you got this nice fence. And then this was the uh, front yard again on this side. But look how nice this looks. This was built, this was not here before. So he just built this. Put up the new fence, new trees, new grass, everything. There's also a, uh, I believe that's a sump pump as well. So to our right is one of the first basement bedrooms. Nice floors, nice window. And this one, you also have a really good sized closet here. So that's bedroom number one. We have an entire suite over there, but let me show you this side of the house first. Those are the stairs going back up. This for the basement would be more like the living room kind of area because you have the bedrooms on the other side. So you got some shelves. Ceiling height's a little bit low on the left side, but it's still pretty good. I'm 6'2 ish, and I don't really have any 
issues with it. So you could put some like couches here or, you know, different kinds of setups. And then back there is the utility room, which um, all the HVAC is brand new, just about. And then we just got a sink. I think laundry used to be right here, but I'll show you where the new laundry is. And then these are the stairs going up. You got the handrail, you got the new railings on the side. So it looks really good. So over here, we have a couple more bedrooms. This is just a storage closet. So that kind of just stays locked. Then back here, we have full bathroom. Again, very nicely done, very modern. This owner, he, he just knows everybody. He's got a bathroom guy, a kitchen guy, landscaping guy, everyone. And then this would be the bigger of the two bedrooms. So you have two bedrooms downstairs. You got the egress window, good size closet, you know, the ceramic flooring. And then to the left, it's probably surprised you a little bit. We have our third washer dryer. So each level has its own washer dryer, a lot of separate entrances, a lot of bedrooms, a lot of bathrooms, super cool house in a great location. All right, so thanks for watching this one and be sure to check out some other property tours on my channel.